guys, we're uh, out here this morning in the new Mohawk canoe. This thing's 13 foot, made out of Royal X, it's in mossy oak camouflage. First day I've had it out, first day I've been out fishing this year actually. So I thought maybe we'd just cruise around a lake that I haven't fished yet and just kind of take a look and see what's out here. And See if we can maybe get something to hit this morning. Just take our time and cruise around and see what's out here. Traveling real light this morning. I got the camera, the pole, just a little bit of baits, some artificial lures, not very many, small package. This canoe weighs 38 pounds, guys. 38 pounds, 13 foot long, 38 pounds. Very easy to portage, very easy to use, very easy to put on and off the top of my Jeep. Nothing to it, it's beautiful. cloudy this morning. I thought it was going to be nicer than this, but couldn't hardly stand not getting out here this morning and seeing how this canoe rode in the water. It's a little bit tippier than I'm used to with the big aluminum canoe, but uh, I think it's going to be a problem. It's got a nice flat bottom, sits low in the water. Of course, again, you know, I don't have very much equipment in here, and you should really load these canoes down if you're planning on going very far in them. Load them up with equipment, and they'll sit deeper in the water. They'll be more stable that way. I don't hardly have any equipment in this thing at all. You know, I've got a paddle in here and a camera. Got a PFD in here behind me. And uh, just a small bag of tackle in this pole, and that's it. So definitely nothing special going on there. Not very far from the ramp where I put the canoe in, the launch area. Just thought I'd throw a lure out here on this point a couple times and see what's out here. I think it's pretty shallow water right here. All right, well, our first fish, a little bass. He ain't very big, but he'd eat if we needed to. Definitely. Swallowed that bait pretty good. That's good. At least we know there's fish in here now. weeds on my bait that time. This is where I want to come out and do some 18th century fly fishing and maybe some regular fly fishing as well. Also, my first love obviously is bass fishing. So definitely want to do some bass fishing out here as well. But I figured maybe this time of year we might could find a school of crappie and hook into a few of those. But so far, no takers. Water's just starting to warm up, and that makes a difference because when the water's cold, you know, the fish have to adjust to the temperature of the water. So when that water's cold, the fish don't move near as well as they would move in warmer water. Another hit, missed him. Guys, you know, we're not catching a whole lot of fish right now. We're not catching big fish. But we've caught two of them in the first half hour and lost one. So we're catching. They all eat. As long as you can consistently put fish in the boat or on the bank, you're not going to go hungry. 
I think that's the important thing to remember. Another one, fellas. One in the boat, you. Look at the size of the mouth on that guy. I tell you what, he just, they love. Not a bad little fish. You know, I always, when I first start out, I'm throwing one of these MEPs with the yellow or the chartreuse dots on the spinner. A lot of red in there. I love that red. Fish seem to just eat up red. I don't know why, but they just love it. Something to do with gills, something to do with a wound. I don't know what it is, but they seem to really love red. Guys, I'll tell you what, I sure enjoyed fishing with you today, and uh, <clears throat> we caught a few. Actually lost a couple before I could get them on camera. Hung them and then had to turn the camera on, and the time I got the camera on and situated in place, <laughs> it got off the line, but uh, that's the way it is. It's all in good fun, for sure. I'll tell you, you know, one of the things I hear a lot about is pressure of different bodies of water for fishing and things and I'll tell you when I came out here this morning there was already one boat in this lake and it's only about a 200 acre lake and since I've been here I'd say probably nine more boats have showed up something like that so there's probably 10 boats out here fishing this lake which means this lake probably gets a lot of pressure and this is the first time I've ever fished this lake but this lake probably gets a ton of fishing pressure and I'm catching fish I mean I'm catching quite a few fish if you count the ones that got off while I was situation situating the camera. You know, I probably caught five, six fish, and I've only been out here for an hour, hour and a half at the most. And uh, So there's plenty of fish to be had, even on lakes that got pressure. You just gotta give them what they want. And I really sincerely believe that no matter what the time of year is, you know, unless it's really, really cold outside, and when it is, you just gotta stay on the sunny banks, those MEPs are gonna catch fish. End of story. You know, I carry more of those in my tackle box than anything else just for that reason. If I can find a shallow grassy flat or an area where there's, you know, something going out into the water structure-wise off the bank or a rocky area, that's a point. Those are the spots that I'm going to hit first. So those are just a couple little tidbits for you guys during this short fishing trip on the water's edge, first one of the year. I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for this video. I appreciate everything you do for me, for my school my family. I thank you for everything you do for my supporters, my affiliates, and my friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.